profile like adding this interview okay so check that you have uh, sales plus of experience yeah is it correct correct okay so so amrit uh, please provide me introduction regarding your technical skill set and your uh, project which you are working right now sure thank you for asking uh, my name is amrit i am having uh, like uh, seven plus years of experience uh, like, uh, so i am working for the java backend application so the technology which i use is java with a spring boot microservices a spring cloud component as a backend front end also i have a good experience in angular coming for the domain uh, i have also good experience in different different domain like banking telecom e-commerce health insurance so the country which project which i am working uh, worked which uh, that is based on health insurance so coming for the tools and all like uh, while we are developing any microservices applications so we need uh, some of the devops tools which need to be develop uh, the applications uh, easily so like uh, multiple devops tools i use like apache maven jenkins jira github elk splunk and all for the while we are developing applications also we are following agile so based on the agile whatever the sprint task will be defined we need to work on that and uh, end to end customizations with the microservices uh, spring boot applications and uh, database also i have a good experience like a uh, different different database like mongo and uh, uh, sql so uh, sql we have oracle so these all are the technology stack and domain and uh, my role and responsibility uh, as we told like uh, already we are following agile so while we are working on agile we have a sprint so a sprint will define some of the work uh, based on the jira so we need to develop so my role and responsibility here on daily basis we are uh, developing end to end development with the microservices and uh, communicate with uh, one service to another services so either we communicate from one service to another services then we have a use of kafka template or maybe some rest template and all so kafka we will use for the asynchronous communications and uh, rest template used for end to end call with the synchronous okay that's all that's all that's all my dude yeah okay so which version you are uh, working right now in java uh java mostly i use 7 and 8 7 and 8 okay yeah okay so have you any idea of like programming and uh, as well as like uh, q sorry which one programming yeah q q uh, i have i like the q stacks yeah so this all are the uh, part of collection framework so in that class any idea yeah collection okay. framework we have a any idea what is a uh, dq uh dq uh yeah okay q is a part of collection have framework any idea what is d you know in case of data structure okay mm. so have you any idea what is the basics uh, basic operations and uh, what kind of the behavior okay so, okay got it and uh, suppose uh, i i need to implement some program in which okay we need we need uh, queue or stack okay mm -hmm. both of the functionality okay mm -hmm. in a particular pro program mm -hmm. okay so in which class uh, you basically use in collection framework can you repeat once again uh... Actually. Okay, so have you any idea the class name in which uh, both the functionality of Q or stack are available? Okay, Q or stack will be available. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So mostly uh, in collection framework we have uh, has uh, map is there or tree map. So the tree map. So are you getting my question? Yeah, both the functionality you want is a queue and a yeah, stack. So both you know, you know, the queue queue is basically first in and first out. First in, first out, and, and a stack is stack last is in, first out. For the last in, first out. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so have you any idea the the interface name, at least interface name, mm -hmm. which containing both of the behavior? Uh, interface. I think it's a part of. Not sure exactly, but maybe in part of queue or. stack only uh both things uh so suppose uh, suppose there is a programming problem mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and in which you uh, both the data structure use like q or stack yeah and and you know you know java very well okay Correct. but instead of instead of 
uh, implement the method okay mm -hmm. like push pop okay mm -hmm. offer so you need to use uh, directly implemented class na yeah so it's provided by the java library so my mm -hmm. question is very simple which class you are using uh, util we can use util package have uh, like a collection class collection class yeah okay so so okay that's all okay so have you any idea of java 8 new features uh, java new features yeah java new features have uh, in java 8 also multiple uh, things are there like a uh, lambda expression functional interface date time api optional okay. and okay. yeah Steam. So, have you have you any, any idea what kind of the new changes available in JVM memory management? Uh, yeah. So there is a, some uh, uh, instead of garbage collectors, GC uh, has modified some changes in there uh, to remove the daemon and GC thread. Uh, that is introduced in Java, I think, uh, 12 or 15 version. Uh, so, is there any change of algorithm mechanism for garbage collection in Java? There is some modifications which happen in this uh, uh, for garbage collector. Uh, but we need to check uh, the internal. Uh, Mm. there but I'm not sure right now uh, but there's just some modification which happened in after uh, Java 8 version okay so uh, Amarjit uh, suppose there is a, uh, okay so have you any idea of default method of Java 8 uh, yeah default method uh, is Java 8 have uh, multiple are there run is there uh, clone is there and then uh, two string is there and then Compare, compare to is there. Is, is that the default method? A two string is the default method. Two string is the default method. Okay. So, so uh, what is basically the definition of default method? Uh, our default method, suppose uh, that will be a uh, uh, if you don't know the particular full implementation of this then either maybe have a static non static uh, method will be there uh, so uh, that for that you can mention as a default so that will have a default method uh, take any type of uh, details okay so Amarji have mm -hmm. any idea what is simple design principles uh, simple design principle like design pattern right uh, no simple design kind of solid design principle okay uh solid design some, some of the developer known as a solid design principle and some mm. of the simple design principle yeah so sim solid design principles uh, which is used for while we are developing any application we need to use some of the patterns so they like a single responsibility open for extension close for modification interface segregations uh, 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 these things we have to follow while we are developing the application like uh, uh, while we created an interface for that implementation we have to create a separate class like uh, that will be open for extension and close for modifications like a uh, same common type of uh, classes or maybe interface we can create and in that we have a uh, only for uh, uh, adding not uh, only for uh, using not for modifications so this type of follows uh, happen in this uh, solid principles correct okay so simple okay simple as means hmm. only one so you mean you mean to say whenever you decide to choose some functionality in your program okay mm -hmm. which you you will you will create a separate class correct okay based based on the functionality okay mm -hmm. okay so that that is the meaning now correct yeah that one is okay because modification so it, it, it means suppose suppose that there is a uh, requirement in which you need to create some of the REST API, okay. Mm -hmm. So here you need to, the basic requirement from the client side is, you need to create, create and update or delete, okay, the record mm -hmm. of the student, okay. Okay. By using the REST API. So mm -hmm. how, how many controller classes will you, will you create here? 
yeah yeah so only one controller classes will be there in that uh, student controller class there we'll have a four method like a uh, uh, get method post method put method and delete method which cause which we are providing a crud operations so we have so a so get... based on the definition of the solid design principle mm -hmm. you need to create a separate class for all mm -hmm. kind of the functionality so mm -hmm. how do how do you map map this kind of the principles in in your real time programming if if you decide to decide to create only one controller class in which you need to implement four or three method based method. on the requirement yeah so here is the clear violation of the same uh, solid design principle uh yeah but solid design principles also uh like uh they told like uh for this interface segregations and all so while we created our interface uh in this service layer so all the service will have a like a get employee detail delete employee detail uh, update employee details or maybe update a student so in, in, but but the definition is not only for the service layer or as, or as well as DAO layer. Yeah. It is also applicable for the controller controller layer too, na? Yes, yes. In that cases, uh, we can mod create a uh, like a four controller based on the method, but I think that will not be applicable here um, because we have supposed thousand of method will so be there. Is there any specific reason? Why why basically not apply here? Uh, uh not applied because of uh, we have multiple method will be there in business logic so while we have any business in that may maybe some of 500 application methods will be there so for that 500 unnecessary classes we have to create in that cases so instead of 500 we can decouple this applications with the four to five classes there we have uh, like 10 10 methods and all like that or maybe okay so Amarjit. okay mm -hmm. so Please uh, present on the screen. Okay, mm -hmm. just just create some simple program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, can you repeat once again? Yeah, will you please present mm -hmm. on the screen? I just described some some of the program. You need to implement the same. Okay, just. Uh... Yeah, you will to see now. Um, just loaded. Yeah. So, uh, suppose Amarjit, uh, th there is a class. Okay. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, for a single class, we can create multiple object. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my question is regarding how do I get number of the object? How many number of the object of the particular class has created? Can you write the program? Suppose there is a student class, okay, and some of some of the some of another classes, okay, create the object of the student class. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to check how many number of student class object available right now. So can you implement the program? Okay, suppose a student class and college class is there. Yeah. Okay, so, so suppose uh, the college class create uh, multiple object of a student class. A student class, yeah. Okay, so how do I get number of object of a student class? How many number of object only? Like five, six, seven, kind of. Yes. So in a student class, we'll have a student ID, name, department. Okay. Any any number of argument. There is no issue. Mm -hmm. It is not depend dependent to the a number of the argument my question is regarding the object how many student class object suppose there are multiple classes okay yeah. create the student class object okay so how okay. do i get how many number of student classes available uh, object available at the same time okay mm -hmm. for a student will have a one object will be there i think uh, a student how do you say See, student class is not a singleton class. Suppose yeah, there is a class. Okay. Mm -hmm. My question is very simple. There is a class. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I need to check how many number of object will be there. Okay. I understand. Uh, 
دوستان Check will be there for the student class. Mm -hmm. I think only one will be there, but not a single turn. But uh, we can create depends on the requirement. We can create, but uh, on a starting. So suppose there. Are, okay, you just create create any student class like mm -hmm. a four G classes. Okay. Uh -huh. There are some variable or or kind of some setter getter. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so how how do you say that? Uh, there is only one object. Okay, college class have have some of the method which yeah. create five or ten ten object of the student class. Yes, sir. But my my question is it's only verbal. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 